Shell Renewable Race Fuel. Reducing emissions by 60% in all NTT IndyCar Series races. We're moving forward with IndyCar because we're moving forward with everybody. Shell, powering progress. I think it's important that people get to know my sister. Nicole is a nurturing, beautiful woman. The one thing I could not protect her from was the monster she was married to. One of the worst days I've ever experienced. We are here to vindicate her. Don't get in our way. The life and murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. Watch now, only on Lifetime. Star Wars The Acolyte, two episode premiere tomorrow, only on Disney Plus. Now, Southern California's news leader, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Now at 6, welcoming the Presidenta. After centuries, Mexico finally has a female president. How voters in the U.S. helped make that happen. Beaches are closed to Del Mar after a terrifying shark attack. Who helped save the 46-year-old from the brush with death? And using Molly for PTSD, the government appears closer to making it a reality. What the FDA has planned for this week. Good morning. I'm Leslie Sykes along with John Gregory and Irene Cruz. Rachel's off today. And we've got a beautiful sunrise behind us too this morning at least above the clouds uh, Leslie Lopez that marine layer is still sticking around yeah, that's right in some areas and this is what it looks like over in Irvine so yeah we do have some marine layer clouds a little bit more sunshine though than we have seen at least over the course of the last few days I mean it was really cloudy this weekend are we gonna get some sunshine today well it looks like we might have a little opportunity but it will be a few short hours of sunny skies but it's 61 degrees right now over into areas of Irvine and it looks good over in downtown Los Angeles temperatures around 70 degrees if you are heading out the door for Orange County, it's about 72. We do have some sunny skies. I mean, it's nicer to see a little bit of sunshine for at least the afternoon. We just don't have a whole lot of it uh, taking place, especially along the coastline. If you are heading out towards the valleys and Lynn Empire, those temperatures around 75 degrees to 84 degrees. And then let's make your way out towards areas closer towards the beaches. About 68 are mountains, getting up to about 78 degrees, sunny there. And if you are heading out towards our high deserts, about 93. All right, Brianna Ruffalo's in taking a look at traffic this morning. Brianna, how's it looking out there? Good morning. We've had some accidents, but they've all cleared, at least for the bad backup. So we do have a breakdown in an area close to uh, the crash we had over into Riverside. And uh, this is actually, I think, just a breakdown. It's right at Nogala Street. We do have the number two lane blocked off there on the 60 West. And then you see that traffic kind of behind it over into Diamond Bar, where it intersects with the 57 and 60 Westbound. So quite a bit of traffic out there that has cleared, but we have not seen it recover much and typically this time of morning it just doesn't and then you'll continue on into Roland Heights and you'll just hit some light to moderate delays there because of that breakdown. We'll have another check in just a little bit. John, Leslie, Irene, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Brianna, thank you very much. And new this morning, history in Mexico as the country has elected its first ever female president. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel is live in studio with a new video from overnight. Jaysha. Yeah, Leslie, John, and Irene. This is big news. This is the first time in Mexico that the two top candidates were women. Claudia Sheinbaum here on the right is projected to become the first woman and person of Jewish descent to govern Mexico. She talked about her victory last night. Me convertiré en la primera mujer presidenta de México. Shane Baum is a climate scientist and former Mexico City mayor. She said last night that her two competitors had called her and conceded. The National Electoral Institute's president said Shane Baum had between 58 and about 61 percent of the vote. And the historic election also came with a historic vote. It was the first time ever citizens living abroad were able to cast their ballot for the Mexican presidential election. We want to be part of the democratic process. I mean, we hear about, you know, the, 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 the value of the vote. Uh, everybody in the United States would want to be able to vote in the U.S. Many of us cannot vote. Uh, some of us can. Uh, hopefully, this will be an example of, of, of what a vibrant democracy looks like. Hundreds of Mexican citizens came out to the Mexican consulate in the Westlake district yesterday. Officials did not expect the huge voter turnout and some voters were frustrated. Polls were supposed to stay open until 8, but the consulate closed at 5.